Welcome to the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at the Royal Women's Hospital. We support families from all backgrounds and abilities and we welcome cultural, religious, sexual and gender diversity. As a statewide leader in neonatal services, each year we care for up to 2,000 babies from across Victoria in our NICU. Babies can be admitted from the Women's Birth Suite or Theatre or from a different hospital. We know it can be a stressful and upsetting time if your baby needs extra care after birth. While your baby is cared for by our neonatologists, doctors who specialise in caring for newborn babies, as well as our nurses, midwives and allied health professionals, we want to ensure that you feel informed, supported and comfortable. You can be with your baby any time, day or night, and you can call the unit at any hour to check on your baby and ask questions. You are a central part of your baby's care team and we are here to support you. Let us show you around the NICU and explain what you might see and expect here. Babies who are sick or born too early will require specialised care and treatment. Depending on their needs, your baby will either be admitted to special care, high dependency or intensive care, or they might be stabilised and transferred to a specialised children's mm. hospital. The first hour at NICU can be busy as we get your baby settled in. A parent or a support person is welcome to accompany your baby to the neonatal unit. If you are unable to be there for any reason, we will keep you informed about your baby's progress. You may be worried at first by the amount of equipment and monitors on or near your baby when they are in NICU. A nurse or a doctor will explain to you what the equipment is and how it is helping your baby. Depending on what your baby's needs are, they may be an incubator or in a heated open cot to keep them warm and comfortable. Your baby may have leads on their chest to monitor their heart and lungs breathing support through a ventilator, a narrow tube and needle in their hand or foot to provide intravenous fluids, sensors on their foot or hand to monitor oxygen, a catheter in the umbilical cord and feeding tubes. Babies in special care are those who are born at greater than 32 weeks gestation and need some extra time to be monitored and develop before going home. Babies who no longer require high dependency or intensive care will also move to the special care nursery. If your baby is in the special care nursery, they may be in an incubator or an open cot. They will have their temperature and observations monitored and you will be supported to feed your baby, bath, dress and change your baby's nappy and have skin to skin contact. Our staff will support you to be involved in your baby's care. If your baby requires breathing support, they might be cared for in our high dependency area. High dependency and special care can have up to six babies in each pod with two to three nurses in the room at all times. Babies born prematurely do not have fully developed lungs and often require additional oxygen to help them breathe. Your baby will have specialised monitoring for oxygenation, heart rate and breathing. This may be delivered through continuous positive airway pressure, known as CPAP, or high flow nasal cannula, referred to as high flow. Your team of specialist baby doctors, nurses, and care managers will review your baby each day on the ward round. We encourage you to be involved and value your input as we discuss your baby's care. The most unwell babies and tiniest babies will require intensive care. This may involve the use of ventilators, specialised tests and investigations. Your baby will be closely observed by specialist nurses and doctors. The intensive care area can have up to four babies in each pod. And depending on each baby's needs, there will be two to four nurses per room. You are a central part of your baby's care team and we are here to support you in your parenting role. Being involved in your baby's care can help you and your baby get to know one another. This helps with bonding between you and your baby and supports you to go home earlier. 
Some of our team to support you as parents and your baby will be your dedicated care manager, lactation consultants, developmental therapists, social workers, speech pathologists, mental health professionals, Aboriginal liaison officers, pastoral and spiritual care workers and parent support groups. Parent support groups such as Life's Little Treasures run regular sessions in NICU, such as morning teas. Your care team will talk to you about the supports available. Parents are welcome to be with their baby at any time in the unit. Other visitors are welcome during visiting hours between 2pm and 8pm. Sometimes restrictions might apply. It's always best to check with your care manager. Make sure you use the sanitising hand gel provided throughout the hospital and in the NICU. To keep your baby safe, please do not come into the hospital when you are unwell. You can ring the unit at any time to check on your baby and ask any questions. The NICU has a parent and family lounge where you can take a break, have something to eat or drink, or just relax. A number of food outlets are situated on the ground floor of the hospital. In addition, there's a courtyard on level four that also provides a spot to get some fresh air. While your baby is with us, it's important to try and look after your health and wellbeing too. There are also three accommodation rooms in the NICU. These rooms are used to give you an opportunity to spend some time with your baby just before going home. As a major teaching hospital, the Women's has a dedicated research centre that conducts studies and trials into conditions affecting newborns and their treatments. Depending on your baby's condition, you may be invited to take part in research that contributes to improved understanding, treatment options and outcomes for newborns. Research can not only inform care at the Women's, but also on a national and international level, potentially helping many thousands of babies and families. Many parents choose to get involved in research, but involvement is entirely voluntary. Most babies spend only a short time in the NICU and then return to their mothers on the maternity ward. Some babies will spend a longer time and then will be transferred to a neonatal unit closer to home. These transfers are done by Piper, a specialised transport service for babies. If your baby is discharged straight from the women's to home, you may receive care from our hospital and the home team. Some families like to stay in touch and even bring their babies and children back in to see us. You can also keep in contact and send messages and photos through our social media channels. We know that having a baby in the NICU can be one of the most stressful times in your life. It is our hope that during your time with us, you feel supported, safe and cared for.